All right, so three weeks. Tomorrow will be three weeks. Um, she scared the shit out of me though, because she told me of stories were past. All right, tomorrow is week three post-surgery. Um, feeling pretty good. Bruising's gone down quite a bit. Continuing to ice, not as much as I would like to because I'm back at work basically um, from about eight to five every day, but I'm getting a good two or three hours of icing at night and keeping up with the stretching. The biggest update is that I had my first PT session two days ago, I believe, and it was two days ago, and they beat the hell out of my shoulder. They, they stretched it. They're working through the scar tissue. It, it was similar to the pain that I had um, doing PT for my arthroscopy a couple of years ago. It is pretty uncomfortable. They're moving your shoulder every which way. Um, I, I knew what I was getting into though, and it's all part of the healing process and just making sure that you don't get frozen shoulder and just kind of breaking through all the scar tissue that's going on in here. Um, all the incisions are healing up pretty nicely. This back one's basically healed up. This one's still sort of closing. And this one's a little bit uncomfortable, but it is, it's healing for sure. Um, my PT scared the shit out of me though, because I had been sort of lifting super lightweight stuff, like, you know, shaving, doing things with my right arm. And she was like, you know, you can, you can re-tear this thing in the next week or so. Like you really need to get to that four week point in order to safely start really moving your shoulder independently, moving this arm independently. Um, I, I was like, <laughs> I told her, I was like, you're scaring the shit out of me. And she said, I've seen people that were picking up an orange carton, you know, and they tore it, they retore it. And I told her, you know, like, I've definitely had it bug me at weird angles and doing different stuff and I was like do you think I tore it and she was like no you'd know if you tore it she was like you you would be you would know immediately if you tore it which was kind of comforting but the whole thing was kind of kind of scary I, I really thought that I was going to be able to sort of move it by under its own power but my surgeon really meant that full range of motion but it's assisted motion. It's not, it's not me lifting my shoulder and, and working it myself. That's the important distinction. But I told her, my PT, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so I'm gonna be really careful. Um, and in the past two days, I didn't even do stretching yesterday because my shoulder was bugging me so much because they really, they, they move it through all of that soreness and all that stiffness, she stretched it, which is what you gotta do, but damn, is it uncomfortable and painful. Just did some stretching, feels pretty good. Um, next PT is next week. They're, they're fully, fully stacked schedule-wise because people are, are returning en masse now that um, those businesses are more open. She said, unfortunately, they had to lay a lot of their staff off all of their assistants. So it's basically just the two main physical therapists, which is, it's tough. Times are tough right now. But um, she said with all the scheduling that's going on though, she hopes that they'll be able to hire one or two of those assistants that they had to let go. But for now, just gonna keep stretching, going to PT twice a week, like I said. Follow up with the surgeon will be in about three weeks beginning of July. So 
over this next week, I'm just going to be scared as hell. I'm going to do bare minimum with this right shoulder. I was starting to move it and stuff, but no, I, I got to I gotta take it easier. I was trying to do too much too quickly. But I'm glad that I had PT when I did and, and that I asked all the questions that I wanted to because he, I really don't want to re-injure it. And she has had it happen to some patients before and that that would really suck. But for now, staying positive, keeping an eye on it, icing it, and I'll check back in and probably show you guys some workouts that I'm doing too, just like the, the general stretches that they're having me do at this point. All right. Thanks. Keep watching. Like and subscribe.